Hello everybody, this is Dooku200 here back for another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to the most recent Chrono Starf Let's Show Your Minecraft Ship episode, which is episode 26, talking about my beautiful ship, the Queen Mary. Now, I'm excited, I've been waiting 26 episodes for this, because I submitted my the Queen Mary beginning when they were doing submissions and everything, and I've been waiting a long time, and I'm excited to see the comments that they make, and if they enjoy my, my hard labored process. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is... I, oh, it's in that box? Okay. <laughs> My opinion on this is why it took so long, because I think they kept moving it around, because I know Robin was really wanting to see the Queen Mary. I think they kept moving it around on him. <laughs> That's my opinion, anyway. Because that would make uh, a lot more sense for the Queen Mary to be kind of like a finale episode. But yeah, that's kind of my, my thought process here. Yes, it's my baby! English support, we love to see it. So, Doku, I'm so sorry that you have waited so long, but it's completely Robin's fault because he was not able in any means to draw the stupid Queen Mary paper out of the box. Robin! <laughs> oh no, no, I, I said what I, what I think happened, which is I think they kept moving it around. That's my opinion, anyway. So, I don't I'm know. so sorry. <laughs> Probably not what happened, but I, I like to joke about it. Final episode, episode 26 today. Mhm. Ja. Da haben wir jetzt auch die englischsprachigen Leute an Bord und jetzt geht's los. Ich fahre fliege jetzt rum. Ja, heute sind wir hier auf den größten Pütten auf der Mary Queen. Sehr schön. Für ihre grand hässlichkeit. Okay, Drash is not the biggest fan of this ship. Don't worry, neither am I. I, I do not like the ship either, but yeah, I still built it it's twice. It's interesting that the letters on the main signs are just buttons. <laughs> so the reason for that is because banners would look really weird size-wise here, because the ship is 1.7 to 1 scale, uh, to better fit the size of my cruise ships that I've been working on, uh, just like size-wise them all. So this ship is, I think, 1.7 or 1.75 to 1 scale. It's not 1.8. It's not 1.8, I double checked this, I messed the scaling up. So it is 1.7 versus 1.8, I don't know why I did that, but it, I did. It was very strange to, on my part that I did that. Uh, but yeah, so the buttons here are because banners would look very strange at the scale. So that's the only reason why they're buttons, as well as that's just what I do. I always put buttons as sign plates as, like, for this. Even on the original, it was just the full blocks, but I wanted extra detail, so I put buttons. Everyone knows the ship, we don't have to run it. Also, I'm kind of curious okay. how his resource yes. pack is going to affect the interior Could woods the of this. Mary. Could be the Poseidon, I don't know. It's the Poseidon, <laughs> it definitely is. Not in my channel. <laughs> uh, it's the Titanic. <gasps> yes. It is. No, it's actually smaller than, than, than the uh, Olympic class. <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course, Titanic is the largest ship in the world. So Queen Mary could never compare to that. <laughs> Why? this scale because you could do everything in that scale but that's not the justification to pick a certain scale okay so like i said this is completely by accident i don't know why i hit seven versus eight uh, that's probably what happened I hit, I hit the seven button instead of the eight button no but the scale of this is 1.7 or 1.75 to one versus 1.8 and that's all that's all on me i did not realize this until the ship was nearly done <laughs> Which, that's on me. I probably should have checked this way ahead of time. I went back and like double checked the original hull I made, and I was like, why is it, why is it this scale? And I believe, this is my opinion on what, why I did this. So, I compared this versus my old Queen Elizabeth model, which was in a scale of like 1.6 or 1.7. And I think I was trying to size this to the Queen Elizabeth versus sizing it to an actual scale. I believe that's what happened. But the scale does work for it. However, I didn't realize it was 1.7, so some things are out of proportion, and I I accept that. 
um, in the 1950s update that is going to pop out very soon, that this does get corrected. Not the scale, not the big size, but proportion-wise, like the funnels to everything else will get sized down a little bit to better match the scale itself and make it look good. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I also asked the question why this ship is directed to the South Atlantic. So, why it's not going across the Atlantic, but along the, the Atlantic. The Queen Mary is on a, on a cruise. Exactly, thank you. Uh, I think it was Lens who said that. Yeah, the Queen Mary is on a cruise. Because yeah, you see, especially on the wooden planks on deck, that they're looking all in the wrong direction. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so the reason for the wood planks being that way is because on the server this was built on, there was a restriction at the time, uh, at the time this was being built actually, that every ship had to be facing either north or south, and after this was made, that rule was lifted. I think actually mid-construction, or like, a little ways into the construction, it was lifted. So, after that I could move it whatever direction I wanted to. In fact, even the Titanic model I did was facing the right direction, which is good. However, this isn't, again, my fault for not kind of pushing to have it the right direction. Um, but the 1950s update is facing the right direction, and I am planning on updating the map here to have her facing the right direction. I just had to kind of wait for world edit to allow me to rotate it, which is kind of what I uh, used one of Kronos' models for. Um, if he's watching us, he knows what I'm talking about, the one I just recently asked for at the Reliance. Uh, I have been kind of doing some rotation uh, testing on that for the Queen Mary itself. And so yeah, it is now, World Edit is now able to rotate everything without messing up doors as badly. So yeah, I will be rotating this to where the wood planks are facing the right direction. 1950s update has it facing the right direction, so it's all good. But yeah, so this is just due to some server restrictions at the time of construction. And World Edit at the time of making all this we did not allow us to rotate it, and it was far too late into construction. I think all of the upper white sections were completely done, as well as B deck was midway finished, and so it was too late to rotate it because that'd be over over a thousand doors to edit, and I personally do not want to set down and hand replace over a thousand doors. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have the time for that. <laughs> well, but but I, this is a this is a solid comment though. It it will get fixed, I promise. Those are ships. Yeah, uh, from 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 west to east. Also, this uh, there is a uh, a new shipyard kind of area where I will be building now that is facing east and west versus north and south. However, my cruise ships will be still facing yeah. north and south due to the wood locations on that. I will start at the bridge. <laughs> I thought you had already done that. I hope you yeah, started no, the bridge. I, I, was, I was flying on the exterior. <laughs> okay, this well, is the bridge. The ship is big, so we have maybe not time to look at everything. Everything. Yeah. He says that, but the video is shorter than the... I think it's the Wilhelm de Grosse or something like it's that. Yeah, uh, it was Austrian Steam Airlines ship. He had a bigger, a longer review than this. For the vents, for example. Yeah, no, I like the vents. Significant vents, so... What's below the bridge? It's officer's quarters. Just a little look in here. Fantastic. Can you find the captain's oh. cabin? <laughs> With it's, the vents, it's hidden. Somebody's accidentally... Uh, take out the, the, the carpet inside. And you cannot rebuild it without where they did. Yes, you can. <laughs> Carpet stacks on yes, each other, yes, so like it, is, it should uh, work still. Bridge house. <laughs> yeah, I always try to make it to where anything on my ships is always done without massive amounts of world edit. So all the vents, due to the carpets, it can still be fixed without world edit. <laughs> I mean, sure of that. What's what's the press reception? Uh, so the press reception room is if there are uh, reporters on board needing to speak to the captain or other officers, they can use that room as a reception area to meet the captain. Dark room? Okay. That's for photos. Yeah, the dark room is for uh, developing photographs. 
sign on every wall in the corridors to uh, uh, yeah. But I think the corridors black and mm. But I think the corridors are accurate though. Yes, I think, I think so. With, with the wood and... Yeah. Um, so the signs are supposed dogs. to rep represent the handrails, and this is supposed to be What's main voyage, handrail? which shouldn't have handrails. However, What's with the, I with liked... the angle top uh, part of the floors we see on some photos? Angle top? Wasn't uh, it there in the original version? Was it the original? Yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, so I didn't do the angle top to have the lights. I didn't want the lights to be too, like, in the middle. I wanted to be connected to the side, so I didn't have the side to, I didn't have the size to, uh, do that. Do the kind of rounded top. So instead I did this. The flat. Oh, schön! You don't have to imitate the Duchess. Those are pipes, I promise. I don't just do that naturally. <laughs> even, <laughs> even this gymnasium looks very yes, uh, oh, ich höre Hund. Uh, überdacht, uh, also nachgedacht so. Ich glaube, die haben die die Hundezwinger mit Hunde gefüllt. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, you said uh, very thought through because uh, look at it, it, it really looks is uh, quite nice. Uh, Thank you. Thank you for the comments. Exit. Yes, I tried very hard to make so any public rooms very uh, okay. accessible. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. staircase on the side. I can go on the boat So there's a hidden please door over there. Yourselves. I'm not filming you, so please try to get out of my sight. <laughs> <laughs> Meet all my actors. <laughs> Lifeboats here. Yep. Lifeboats, very interesting, and I'm very and they look quite nice in their interior. For, for the Queen Mary. So let's have a little look. Was I jetzt schon wieder hingerannt? Into the lifeboats. At the back here is. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know. That, that is tennis here. Yes, it. there were two tennis courts located on the back. Have, uh, on the top deck, tennis, where. Uh, but but the, when this ship is. When a ship is sailing under full speed, and perhaps on the North Atlantic there are rough conditions or a, even a bit of wind, yes, the tennis players will be very disturbed yeah. here. They, they will be very disturbed. The However, one, there is a video showcasing yeah. the during 1936 I that there were two tennis courts here. there. Why should I be able to play it on the top deck? So there are two oh, locations because for this because uh, it's a very popular sport. A stronger wind surrounding, makes everything surrounding for better. It. Ah, there's mm. a surrounding. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, but this that's, is. That, but wind will come through, so it's very ambitious by by Cunard Line and other shipping companies to offer tennis courts. But um, yeah, <laughs> it would be interesting to read anywhere for well occupied. Also, I'm quite sad you didn't look at the kennels. Yeah. They are back there. They have dogs in them. <laughs> they have several so, dogs, what actually. Is this. I think the group. Yes, this Where is the Veranda Grill. I've never been on this ship. I've never. I've <laughs> Neither have I, don't worry. I've only seen Queen Mary's in Minecraft in Chronos Contests or Let's Shows. So, <laughs> the only Queen Mary's you've seen are mine. <laughs> yeah, the Veranda Grill. Because, yeah, I've built yeah. two. And then there's the. Back out and join who's done his massive. He did a 1 to 1 scale as well as a 3 to 1 scale. But the other ones who have actually posted Queen Mary's, though. Less talking, more looking. Yeah. No, more talking. Michel really <laughs> react to. is in a hurry today. <laughs> Michel, no. no. <laughs> it's just, you talk Maybe. about everything in your room and we don't get further into down the ship. Yeah, uh, secretly, secretly, he doesn't like the Queen Mary also. <laughs> don't worry, I don't either. <laughs> just <laughs> I like the comments this though. This room shows what I doesn't like. It's really much wood. And more wood, and no details. Just well, that's mainly just the 1930s. Wood and I don't wood. like that style. Of um, I think um, above here should be lights behind these um, wooden stairs here. I think I know uh, what he's talking about. There should oh, be. However, yes. that's the hallway so behind that. So I think, um, yeah, because I think there are some. How do you say it? 
Yeah, there are lights behind um, the wood in real life. So. Ah, the promenade. So lights are missing. Okay, thank you. Yes, but there's because there's a hallway directly behind it, so I couldn't put the lights unless you wanted the lights in the hallway of the crew passage. <laughs> okay, this is the ballroom. It's also quite nice. So, this is just a, a question of style. Even if you have a look in here, what kind of room is this? This is the star. Like, uh, really yeah, the starboard gallery. Mary. <laughs> oh, it's the starboard gallery. Gallery. Yeah, we have Ga starboard and starboard gallery. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Many <laughs> cooking in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's high rooms, many schleiflag. Oh. <laughs> so, Doku, if you if you are curious, um, when, yes, yes, it's it's varnish. When um, when ships are using very smooth wood paneling, so that's varnish. very smooth and yeah, it's varnish. Luck in English. It's a varnish, Max. Varnish. Schleiflag, it's varnish. Varnish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Since it's it's very polishy, uh, it sounds much better. Shiny uh, wood. Uh, so it's, 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 like, it, it, it's like the English word zeitgeist. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is this is also typical. You you just put these um, curtains everywhere, and then there are small windows, and it's just high. It's very high. <laughs> it's just not my. Uh, favorite style of ship design. Oh no, I don't design. like the style at all, don't worry. It's, it's wonderful. I just had to make it. No, very <laughs> close. It like to it. be it's beautiful much. because it's on the Queen Mary. Exactly. You cannot fail. Hmm. If you're but trapped inside some. The yeah. thing is, we don't uh, have to um, say if Queen Mary is good or not, or if we love it or not. We have to uh, say if Doku did a good job or not. Yes, so. that of course. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is a famous play. That's on board. undeniable that he made a good job, but. Thank you. Yeah, you know. I just do. My mother has just started a vacuum. That's amazing at the current moment. It's like, it's like Michel once said, um, you feel a bit close here. Yeah. Difficult. I think thing. this room is a bit too small. Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this room's the correct scale to 1.8, which is hilarious, considering the off-scaled first Queen Mary I made had it massive, but no, it's actually this small. <laughs> this is 1.8 to 1 scale, this room in general, because I made sure about that. This is the correct size of this room, and it's kind of funny. The legendary bar in, in, under, under the bridge, so... Yeah. In, in Rhea, the room is much... Bar? Bigger. Yes, in real life, the room is much bigger due to Long Beach extending it to a comp to um, be in place of the forward promenade. That's why it's so massive nowadays. But yes, in 1936, it was quite small, which is why they eventually gave it to the tourist class or third class during her 50s and 60s refit. I would say the floor and the corridor is uh, not quite right. This word. Okay. Because they think. It's brown, and I looked at the photo. I don't know if it's uh, only on the hotel um, today. It is black and gray uh, on 1936. Is, uh, is it a refit or? I maybe feel like a labyrinth. Yes, it's yeah. very maze-like. I'd love to say that the Cunard executives gave a. I'd love to say the Cunard executives gave a child a crayon and just kind of said, "Okay, make me an ocean liner." And the child just kind of scribbled a bunch of lines and said, "Done." And they're like, "Beautiful, amazing, Queen Mary." <laughs> That's my opinion. It's so confusing layout-wise that it's just it couldn't have been made by an actual human being. It had to have been a child. This way, or the first time. Always feel like lost. Ah, all right. Ah, oh, yes, car garage. Yeah, it may look nice. Is he gonna notice the Coupe de Ville in the back? Sure, it's just gymnasium. No, go look at the Coupe de Ville. And it is property of Madame Ginger Le Badonk. <laughs> Whoever that is. No, but go look at the Coupe de Ville. Stony version. We also have um, the car of Claudia Tiedemann, I guess. Uh, important character of Dark in the series. 
So sometimes no, go look at the Coupe de Ville. It's on the yeah, it's on the port hardest. side. He didn't see the Coupe de Ville. That makes me mad. Again. So, in that detail, so that I can say something. Most of this was supposed to be built by Alexis, but he didn't get around to doing it, so I had to do it. And I had no idea what I was doing. I have to think what is nothing exactly. Now, this, this is what I would call a condenser. Yes, it's massive. This is amazing. Thank you. This is an amazing amount of detail. Took that us quite a while. This forward engine room was completely done by me. Terrible to anything I've seen. Thank you. No, the aft engine room was done by uh, both myself and Alexis, but the forward one was just me because Alexis was busy. But the aft engine room is actually the most famous due to it still being around. And again, it's stopping. And it's uh, very uh, you have to be very structured uh, while building. Yeah. Such detailed. Uh, I had to be structured while making this. What? <laughs> building it here. Uh, uh, uh. Imagine to this. Uh, don't know where I am after two seconds. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the good thing about videos, as we know where they were at. Something we could also uh, notice in the engine was Rex and Bremen. That the turbines are quite small for turbines of such big ship. Yes. So Very these strange. are just modern turbines, and they didn't need that much space anymore. Buttons, yeah. the hull. In this scale, it works, but on smaller ships, I don't know. But this looks very good. Thank yeah. you. On this scale, there were, it was a, such a pain to make. Uh, to and I have to say, I have to say, when you make this uh, waves around the ship to to let it look like it's in motion, then I question myself: where is the, where is the smoke? Yeah, where is the uh, what's it called? Smoke. Exhaust. Okay. Exhaust smoke. So to do the smoke, because I don't like to do that, but I did the bow wave more as like a, a copyright kind of thing, because I know like it's going to be such a pain in the half for someone to copy this map and remove the wake. So that's kind of my thing. I didn't want to put like the smoke as well, because, I don't know, I didn't want to put that much effort into the smoke. <laughs> um, also, because it would darken the entire ship more than it should, and so I didn't want to do that, versus the wake, which doesn't darken anything, but the big amounts of smoke, even if it was glass, it would completely shroud all the decks in darkness. Which is not really what I'm wanting, but that's the reason why there's no smoke. Yeah, because okay. now it looks like the ship is uh, drifting without engine. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> the ship is stopping. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, She's coming into New York. Okay. She's coming to Brazil, because it's going south. A little conclusion on that. Oh. Yeah. What exactly are yeah. we doing? Oh, yeah. So Robin's cabin. And, <laughs> and Philip Stewart cabin. And Philip Stewart cabin. I'm what? Philip is a steward? Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. But... It's what Robin requested. That's why. <laughs> it's Robin's cabin over. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. the wallpaper cabin. Robin, I think we've... Robin had <laughs> the to say that Philip is his steward. Okay. <laughs> So, perhaps before we come to the conclusion, Robin, perhaps you want to say something? <gasps> yes! Goku, because everyone likes you talking English, so... Blow this video up! Oh, uh, I don't know what to say, but... Uh, I have a wallpaper, Kevin. Yes! I'm very happy about it. Amazing! <laughs> uh, uh, my, my son did a very good job with this, so... Thank yeah. you, thank you. I'm hoping we can see more ships of him in the far, far future. Of course, every yes, contest. In the far, far future. <laughs> Not too <laughs> soon, please. <laughs> so please, for the next 10 future. years, just go somewhere, go on vacation, and perhaps after 10 years, Romy is expecting further <laughs> ships from you. <laughs> I'll take that into account. Okay, so, conclusion, who wants to start? Thank you, then. A little bit for me now. Um, yes engine room just already said it's great i think it's out of the world 
just <laughs> amazing. And uh, I don't know if you build most parts in this engine room or if perhaps you had someone to do it for you. But even yeah, like I said, the after one was done by both of us. The forward one was just me. Or someone you, you often work together. You should keep this alliance alive because <laughs> that fits the ship very well and your ships in general. And um, yeah, it's also amazing to see um, the Queen Mary again because yeah, you, you could uh, notice that we don't know that much about the ship. We haven't built it yet, <laughs> but someday I'll fight you if you do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> must come. That was a that was a good that was good. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna mute this real fast so I don't get any more sound. Uh, no, that was really good. Uh, I think all the comments that were made were. Um, I agree with. Uh, definitely, I, I explained kind of why the position of the ship was the way it is, it, mainly due to server constraints that were lifted during construction, and it was a little bit too late to rotate it during the time. Um, Interior-wise, um, most of the interior was done solely by me, which was a bit annoying. Uh, Alexis did help quite a bit with crew, uh, machinery mainly. But when it came down to it, he, the last bit of machinery he did was the um, uh, 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 aft engine room, as well as, I believe, helping with a few details in the boiler rooms. Or, no, the generator rooms. Everything else, boiler rooms, water plants, forward engine room, prop shaft tunnels, all that was done by me solely. And it was a pain in the butt. <laughs> However, with the cabins, uh, I do want to just thank um, Jeremy and Evan for helping with wall structures as well as making the progress go a lot faster than it would have just normally by myself. And yeah, it definitely helped quite a bit having just a lot of people offering help. Um, I believe it was Linz or Michelle who was uh, mentioning the, the floor colors. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll send you the thing that basically talks about the floor colors and etc. Because it's a website that shows the Shipbuilder magazine and their little articles containing about each and every room, because there's a lot of them. Uh, yeah, it talks about cabin colors, floor colors, and hallways, etc. etc. Um, I believe that's everything. Oh, scale-wise, I think I talked about that as well. Um, yeah, that's double my fault for the scale being the way it was. Um, yeah. Will I do this again in the future? Probably not. Mainly because the ship was a pain in the butt, and I do not want to make another Queen Mary. I am fully done with that. <laughs> However, the next ships uh, I hope will be good, and you all will enjoy them, hopefully. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. And Kronos, I'll see you all in the next contest. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully I will be still around. But, yeah. Bye!